Hi guys, you can probably see I'm in the middle of a different project at the moment, making a boat in the shape of a seaplane. While I'm doing that, I've just got diverted onto a different project. Sahan Methmal wants to know if we can make a boat that's powered by a vibrating motor and just using the vibration to drive it forwards. So I've got one of my tin foil trays here. I've just glued a piece of plastic on the back there. And what I'm wondering is if I put the vibrating motor in here so that it's vibrating up and down, whether that will have enough effect to make that flex like that it will be doing it very quickly, so we probably won't even be able to see it, but whether that will be enough to push the boat forwards. There's one of those vibrating motors out of the vibrating toothbrushes with the weight on it that is offset, so it spins around and that makes it vibrate. So I'm going to pop that in the back there with a battery and go and put it in some water and see if anything happens. Well, we shouldn't need much water to see if it works, so I haven't put very much water in my bath. So we're floating. Let's switch it on and see what happens. turning like the boats, or like the bristle bots normally turn. I think we may need to fit a rudder or something to try and get it to go in a straight line. Certainly, you can see. But that paddle or flap is vibrating up and down quite nicely. Maybe if we had counter-rotating weights it might be better, but then we've got, well, I can see other problems then if we go counter-rotating. That's going forwards on its own now. But it does look like it wants to turn. So I can start turning the other way now. Well, Sahan, it looks like your idea works. I think it needs a bit of development.
that seems to spin until it's got itself into into a sequence or something. I think that's enough of that. So, um, yes, Sahan. It looks like it'll work. I suggest you have a go yourself and see what developments you can do. I don't know whether it needs a bigger paddle at the back or a narrower one to get the vibrations going at the right speed. I expect the size of that paddle will be related to the speed of vibration of the motor. Good idea, well done.